Well, good morning, Drew Smith, Johnny Gray with you, and the season over now. Time to look forward to what the Packers are going to need to look at in the offseason. And while they've still got the draft to come, of course, there are a number of players who may or may not be on the field for the Packers next year. Here's some of the potential free agents for the Packers, Johnny. I think top, first and foremost, Jermichael Finley is the biggest question mark with his spinal fusion surgery. Is he going to be healthy enough to play next year? And I don't think he knows if he's going to be healthy enough to play this year. I know he wants to and he's working out and you see him in the pool and, and doing all those things. I just don't know how strong that neck area will be. Is he worth rolling the dice on just in case? I Probably not for a big contract. No. Uh, you know, Andrew Corliss, on the other hand, Andrew Corliss came on fairly well when Finley was out. They're hoping for big things for him. They're not very deep at that tight end position. Got to figure that uh, Corliss has got to come back. James Jones has tested the free agent waters before. They were not kind. He came back. We'll see what happens with him. That's going to be a challenge there also. I can't imagine John Kuhn going anywhere. He's too important no. to this team, I think. And Senator Evan Dietrich Smith probably see him back as well. Running back James Starks, we'll see. Jonathan Franklin, of course, supposed to come off the IR and be back next year. So we'll see how that works out on offense. Uh, still, we've got some other players coming back. We've got Brian Belluck, a lot of offensive alignment. Derek Sherrod should be healthy as well. Uh, plus, you get a, a chance to work through a training camp with J.C. Treader, who they really like a lot. So that offensive line and, and, and the running back situation they have there with Dwan Harris, that's going to be very competitive this coming training camp. It really will be, like it was going into this year. And Harris went out with the injury, and that kind of cleared it up a little bit. It's going to be just as much of a log jam coming up next year. All right, some big decisions on defense as well, mostly along that defensive line, Johnny. And, uh, you know, B.J. Raji, I may have played himself off of another offer from the Packers in the last six to eight weeks. I mean, I, don't, I was not as impressed as I think needed to be for the Packers to offer him a long-term deal. Well, they won a lot of them. A lot out of him this year, and I'm not sure if they really got. I'm not sure if he feels like he played that well enough either. But he, he's he wants some big he wants big money. I'm not sure if the Packers are willing to give Ryan it. Ryan Pickett, long in the tooth. We'll see if he continues his career, and if the Packers, who usually like to go young, if they're willing to uh, go and, and pay Ryan Pickett, it's, it's going to be a decision for Ted Thompson. Johnny Jolly, be fun to see him come back. What a great story this year before he got injured. Sam Shields hurt his knee this, uh, just yesterday. He and Mike Neal both got injured. Uh, I'd be surprised if they don't come back, though. I would be also. Both Sam, of those two. Sam came back and had a great, uh, great season, and then Sam changing, changing positions. I thought he did a decent job over there. We also are looking for Clay Matthews to yes. come back. Casey Hayward, another name yes. that you may have forgotten, who had a great rookie season and was a non-factor this year. Sean Richardson, who had, will have a chance to have a full training camp to work with. I think he'll be exciting to watch this training camp And some well. other guys I think need to take a big step. Nick Perry is one of those guys. Dayton Jones, also the top pick from last year, did not do a whole lot this year. He's a rookie, I get it. But we're going to need to start seeing an impact player. Something along the lines of what Mike Daniels was able to do this year. Absolutely. As a number one pick, you need to start raising that level up a little higher. Yeah, it was good to see Josh Boyd really come on toward mm -hmm. the end of the year. Well, as for the Packers' schedule, it's already been set. And with the regular season done, we've got the home and the away opponents. And, of course, you've also you've got your regular opponents, uh, obviously, with the, uh, the Bears and the uh, Lions and the Vikings. But uh, then your home teams will be the Packer at Lambeau Field. They'll welcome the Patriots, a playoff team. The Jets, who didn't quite make the playoff, but were good. Well, okay this year. Panthers, a playoff team. Eagles, a playoff team. Atlanta Falcons coming off Super Bowl the year before, so they'll probably bounce back. It's a tough schedule at home. On the road, the Seahawks, number one seed this year. The Buffalo Bills, who are a little bit in the mix. Miami Dolphins just missed the playoffs. Tampa Bay Buccaneers are going to go through some more changes. Lovey Smith going to be there. Mm -hmm. That should be interesting. That too. should be interesting. Uh, New Orleans Saints have got to win this year. So a very tough schedule on the surface this year coming up in 2014 for the Packers. You guys really got to work in this offseason, getting their bodies healthy, making sure they come back to training camp and knowing what to expect. It's going to be playoff football week in and week out. Great to win the division, but that means you pay the other NFC division winners mm -hmm. next year. So that's, that's what you get there. Well, the Packers end up 8-7-1 in the regular season, 0-1 in the playoffs, but hey, there's always next year, Johnny. It's always next year. 2014, just around the corner.